Welcome back people, we got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today and we are doing item 5. This is part of the Halloween missions that they've got. We've completed all normal missions and all fish monster missions and we are going to complete all of these Halloween missions. So if you're interested in Fishing Planet, new updates, when new maps come out, a live stream, that face cam and mic show you new hotspots, new missions I complete and everything to do with Fishing Planet. If you like it, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next one as well. I've been posting out a lot of videos, really, really, I don't even know how many, a, a real lot. <laughs> I've been posting so many, so if you never want to miss any updates or any of these that we're doing, make sure you follow us on Twitter, link for that is in the description below, or you can follow us on Instagram, which is YT Bubbles Way, no capitals and no spaces on Instagram. Right, anyway, there we are, over on the far right, so that's where I'm going to go, we're here in Neron River. Now to do this one, this item 5, we're going to have to definitely move around a little bit. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm just getting over a cough. I had a really bad cold. It's a good job this update didn't drop last week because if it did, it would be impossible. I couldn't talk. I was non-stop coughing and uh, I'm sure that's a goal there location that I've had from before. Let's see. Okay, it's long nose goal. Perfect. All right. So we're going to get set up here. That's, there you go. Place that down. Let's have a quick look, see if it's got any information. Because I don't, I don't help myself that I don't read stuff sometimes. I just go for it and hope for the best. Normally works out like that, but it is handy to read sometimes. Catch the gar monsters that have reappeared in the waters to get the seal. Pendant against the evil eye. Don't forget to stock up on guard treats, dead mice, okay, so that's what we got, pigs, eyes, and rotten minnows, okay, okay, so I've got, let's, okay, rotten, oh, where are they, let's have a look, so we've got the dead mice on, pigs, eyes, let's use that one, and then rotten minnows, there we go. All right, that's, what, that's, that's how we're going to do it. We've got a couple of different baits there. All these different baits they do like. So I'm using a 4 up hook. You can use a barbless, which does give you more XP. If you don't have one, you could always use a normal 4 up like I had on there. This one is an X-Series hook. Again, it doesn't matter. As long as it's a 4 up. that's the main thing that you need to do. Use the same hook. Use the same bait. Always fish the same location as me. And then you guys will get this done as well. Rotten minnows. So let's put that one out there. Oh, well. That, well. that was quick. I don't know if that's going to be the fish we're looking for straight away. But that was a really quick hit. There you go. Uh, not a bad size. That could be our first one. That could be. Let's see. I haven't even made no edits yet. No, nope, it's not. <laughs> Flathead catfish. I don't mind catching a few other fish as well. It helps build up our cash flow. Doing all these missions <coughs> um, can get a little bit expensive. So for the baits and stuff, you can go over here to premium. And then if you go down, I've been showing this quite a lot, just in case you haven't seen from the very beginning. Then you can come here for 99 bait coins. You can purchase this, which is everything you need. Now, if you don't purchase this, you can go to Pumpkins and pick up free bait, but the possibilities of completing it are going to be very, very difficult. Not impossible, but difficult. Whereas if, if you buy this for 99 bait coins, you will get these baits. Now, I brought this twice, so, so far, I have spent 200 bait coins. Bait coins, you can get from doing things, but I mainly, most of the time, I, I, I always buy mine. And it does get a little bit expensive, because I... Obviously, playing the game for six and a half years. It's good that I know what I'm doing in different lakes, but I do play on three different accounts. I play on PC on Steam, also play on console, and I also play on mobile as well. So, yeah, I do have my work cut out for a little bit. This one's going to be quite a long one. I'll bring you back when I get the first fish on. And, of course, we are going to be making some edits through this video just to speed up the process. Otherwise, the video is going to go on really long. And you guys might get a little bored. So, I'll bring you back when we hit our first fish. 
Okay, well I had nothing in the daytime, but I've come to the night and everything is going absolutely bonkers. And there's our first one and I can't even show it long. <laughs> oh no. Alright, I, I don't even know what rod to pick up. I don't know. Oh, come on. Cool, well that one put up a really good fight there that little bit. Alright, so we've got to get six of these. If it's going to go off this quick... I can't see it taking too long. Was that one? Yeah, there you go. There's another. Okay. That was 42 pound. That wasn't a bad size, that one. Okay, that one doesn't seem like it has too much strain there. Let me see if this one here is bigger. Okay, it is. I'd rather go for the bigger one because the bigger one, there's more chance that that's going to be the fish that we are looking for. And I think that it is. Wow, I can't believe how fast I'm getting these. <laughs> well, that's free. And, of course, that would happen. <laughs> Alright, I will bring you back when I get the last one. Or, close to getting the last one. I'm back, and we got a fish on. I'm pretty sure this is the one. Yep, yeah, there you go. So that's six, and that was... Insanely fast, if I'm honest. Look, look at these rods. <laughs> I don't even need any more fish at this point. I will show you my rod setups and stuff, but uh, I don't think you need as strong gear as this, as what I'm using. But it definitely does help bring stuff in a little bit quicker. You could probably get away with a bottom sniper rod, and uh, yeah, even the heavy chaser would probably do a little better, but. Yeah, the bottom sniper rods you could get away with. The fish are around about 40-ish pounds, so not not bad. This one we actually get to look at a little bit more. There we go. Right, so that's the, what we need. Now, we can get out of here. Uh, oh, pressing all the wrong buttons. I always do that. I wouldn't be bubbles if I didn't. All right, so yeah, we can come out of there, and now we're going to go to the next location. Which that is, that was Everglades, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. When you're doing these, always make sure you buy the advanced license as well. And then let's go travel. I think I pretty much have a license <laughs> at this point for almost all of the lakes today. I've been on that long grind. Um, yeah, let's spawn in there. There's a few places actually where you can catch gar in here. There is a few different places, so I don't think I'm going to have too, too much of a problem trying to find this one. If I'm, yeah, I don't think I'm going to have too much of a problem, to be honest. Now, I know that over this way, all around here, oh, well, yeah, literally everywhere around here there's gar, but there's also gar down here. Is that a marker for the gar? Nope, okay. There's gar just there on the corner there. So, um, um, yeah, we'll go down there first, I think, I think here at the bottom. So I'm going to show you on the map where, where I am at the minute. So I'm down here on the far left, my guys lit up orange there, that's where I am. And I'm going to, I know that over there, around here, is where I've had quite a few guard before. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to get set up, I'm going to... Do the night time again because that seemed to work quite well for Gar in the other place. So we're going to do it here in this place. Let's jump to a peak time. So we've got two peak times through this night. We go to nine and then I'm just going to cast straight to there. There we go. And then if I don't get any interest, I will end up moving location. But if yeah, for the moment, I will stay here and. We'll see if we get any any gar from this location, but I'm pretty sure I will get some here. I'll bring you back when we get our first one on. All right. Well, that didn't take too long. We got our first fish on. I'm pretty sure this is going to be our first one, but we'll see. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think it is. There you go. Nice. That one looks. <laughs> that one looks. I haven't caught one of those for a long time. That one looks kind of strange. But that looks nice though. I like that. 
it's good that the fish look a little bit different okay so that's one we got another five more to go so i'll bring you guys back when we get our last one on just again to speed up the process and the last fish i think this is it so i've set a marker out there and i've been casting around about 100 foot to that marker just there <coughs> um, yeah there you go it's the last one <coughs> <clears throat> All right, there you go. Six out of six. Albino Yeti Gar. The biggest one I had of those was like 60 odd pound. That's not bad. Everyone gets hoggering around me. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, let's have a look. See it because there was a pumpkin on that one. I just want to see if there's any more pumpkins around just before we move over into the other one. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, okay, we got a little. There you go, rusty chain we got there. I don't think we had that, so I don't know. Did we have it? I, don't, I have no idea, but I guess we need it. All right, and then let's go to this location over here. Just have a quick look in case anything's there. Yep, yeah, there's one there as well. Let's grab that. We might as well get it because it's free. Some more rotten minnows. All right, now we can now come out of this one. Whew. We're getting there. We're getting there, ladies and gents. It's taking time. We're getting there. I quite am. Yeah, I really am quite am really enjoying this one. Quite am really enjoying this one. Did I actually just say that? Oh, my gosh. As I said, early hours in the morning. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go to Quenching Lake and then get the pendant against the evil eye. Visit... Lone Star Lake after that. Okay, so let's go to Quenching Lake then. I quite like that place. That is definitely one of my favourite lakes. Not not the not my most favourite, but definitely one of. Alright, yeah. Now the good thing about doing these missions is that I know where to catch the fish because I've done it before. So I guess that's one is it was it uh, it's one of those. We'll have a look. I will recognize it. I'm pretty sure I've even got a marker in here for Gar as well, to be honest. Let's see. I'm sure it was. Was it here? Yeah, over there. Oh, wow. We've already got a couple of people there. Yeah, look, over there. We've got a marker out there. There it is. Yeah, alligator Gar. All right, so I'm in the right spot. Of course, there's more going to gonna be more pumpkins around and stuff that we can we can go up to and collect free things from and we're probably uh, do you know what let's have a quick look at the other ones real quick we'll start off from the from here there you go there's one headstone there and some pumpkins as well so an old bone oh there's two headstones there a ghost worm we don't really need those anymore but and we've already got that as well. Okay, any more there? Nope. Uh, have a quick little swing around this way. Nothing there. Alright, so that's everything in that one. Let's move up to this one. Sometimes you get the, the odd thick. What's that over there? I don't know. But I know I can hear a pumpkin. There we go. Dead mice. I guess we can never have enough. You can always come back to these every 24 hours to collect more if you didn't buy them with bait coins like I did already. Okay, so that's where we're going to be fishing down south. So let's try the one next to it. See if there's any around here real quick. Doesn't look like it. No, yes, no, no, no. Okay, nothing there. Let's check the next one. There you go, there's a pumpkin. Crocodile teeth. I'm pretty sure we already had some of those, but again, it's free. I'm not going to say no. <laughs> Let's have a look around here. I don't think there's anything here. No, okay, right, perfect. Now let's get down to business and do the task in hand. So I'm going to cast out there, show you how far it is. And then, I get, oh, okay, okay, I don't want to, oh gosh, it's so busy, I don't, 
<laughs> Everyone's doing the same thing, or at least I think they are anyway. I don't want to get in people's way. Okay, so I'm going to go to the night time. Always look for the highest point like that, because that's called a peak time. That's when you're going to catch more fish. And then we're going to cast to there. Well, let's see how far that is. Now again, it doesn't matter if it's an X-Series hook or not. That was a little bit overshot. I think it's about 150 foot there. Let's cast again. See that? Right, it's right there. Let's see if I can try and get it. There you go. That's spot on. That's better. Let's see how far that is. I think about 150. Okay, maybe, maybe 170 then. <laughs> I'm sure that was 150 foot. Let's cast this one. That was perfect as well. So if this one's 170. Then it's definitely 170. That was a little way of a shot. So it is 170 foot out there. We've got a fish on straight away. Hopefully it's the one that we want. There we go. Nice. Be good if we can get one straight away. Then I can bring you back for the, the last one after that. Again, it's just trying to trim that video and edit that video as much as I can. So that way you guys don't have to watch too much unnecessary stuff. Uh, looks like a gar. If it was a catfish, it would have stayed down deep, but it's come to the surface, so that's definitely a guy. Yeah, it is. There you go. There's our no number one. There's our first one. Black Vampire Gar. I remember this one. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, I'll bring you guys back for the last alligator. <laughs> alligator. It's not an alligator. Oh, gosh, bubbles. It's too... It's too early in the morning for this. Alright, this could be the sixth gar. And this one I've caught on the float rod. So casting 170 foot out there. That's perfect. That's the right amount of distance. There you go. And there's the one that we need. So we now got to get the pendant. How do we... Oh, okay. That's it. That's how we get the pendant. I was going to say, how do we now get the pendant? Okay, let's come out of there then. I really, I'm pretty sure there is more of these missions. We'll find out in a moment. In a way, I kind of hope they, there is because I'm enjoying doing these. Although I've stayed awake all night and not been asleep because I'm trying to put them out as quick as possible. <laughs> I enjoy it. It's really good. Okay. Let's uh, head back into Lone Star Lake like we are here. Over on our far left is where we got to go. It's a good job that this place is free as well. Because you have to keep coming back to this place. Over and over and over again. To go to this stone. And um, this not going to make me jump this time. It's not. Now. Yeah, there you go. You didn't get me that time. Wow. You got me for, for item 1, 2, 3. But you didn't get me. And then 4. You didn't get me for 5. <laughs> It'll probably get me on the sixth one. All right, let's go up to this then, and we'll hit the and see what it does. See what it says. Okay. There you go. Oh, nice. There is another one. That's cool. All right. So blue catfish. Oh, that's gonna be pretty good in Saint Crox. Oh man, I can't, I'm actually looking forward to this. I, I can't wait. Right. So the next video is gonna be coming straight after this video. I'm putting out tons and tons of videos recently so um yeah make sure you are subscribed and make sure you don't you follow me on some other platform as well whether it's twitter the link for that's in the description or whether it's on instagram which is yt bubbles way no caps no spaces it's good to follow me on one of those because i'm putting out so many videos you might not get all notifications from youtube but anyway if you've got any comments do leave it in the comments section below keep an eye out for this one it's coming straight after this this video that you've just watched Hope you guys did enjoy this one. We'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out. Okay, I don't know if I did show you, but I had to quickly add this as an extra clip. This is the rod setup that I use as a float rod. 40 inches there, as you can see. So that rod setup, and then we used these, this rod setup here. Again, you don't have to have exactly the same rods as me, but if you use the same as me, it makes the job that little bit easier. You could always do it with a different type of rod. Anyway, this is another rod setup that we use, the Le Cazador rod as well. Alright, that's all my rod setups. 
this time, I am out.